All right, already. I heard you. A lot of you guys have been writing in saying, do the dimple pick set next. And so that's what we're going to do. But before we do that, let's get some stuff out of the way. The Peterson International City Set. Who won that? Beautiful little kit. And I turned off comments a little while ago. We had 1,875 unique comments. And we randomly selected Evan Rohef 21. So, Evan, if you will PM your address, I will put this in the mail. And you can then stop using your $10 Amazon kit. And it's kind of funny you mention that because I just today, I grab all of these, I got five different really inexpensive kits from Amazon. We're going to spend some time talking about the pros and cons of them, but not today. Today we're going to be talking about the dimple sets. This is the South Ord PXD15, and there really are only two choices out there. This kit, and one that's almost identical to it, made by a company called Goso. Uh, when you put the kits side by side, they're literally identical. Uh, it's almost like they were made in the same factory. They're very strong resemblance. I, I don't know if they are, but um, this is the South Ord kit. Uh, in the South Court kit, you get uh, a handle with a collet to hold all of your picks, pick tips. You get a total of eight pick tips of different styles, which we'll talk about in just a moment. You get two picks that are handleless. You get a built-in little handle, fits very flat in your pocket. And I would not think that these are exactly high demand items. This is a, a pick. I've only used this a couple of times in a Chinese lock that had dual a dual row of dimples down the center of the top of the lock and I was able to rock it left and right and pick it and that's only one lock in like the last five or six years and then you get three different style tension wrenches nothing special they all work but uh, it gives you three different choices to go with um, so for the handle what do you get well let's go see how it works slides right in there put it into the collet tighten it up and there you go you get several styles of picks or, and I call these flags this is a straight flag, which means you can pick the left side of the lock or the right side of the lock, and this pick just doesn't care because there's no groove, there's no curvature whatsoever on him, and this is usually the pick that I will start with. If I get a lock that has a lot of warding in it, or if I need to pick a pin that's very deep cut, then I might go with one of the curved flags, and you actually get a total of uh, eight curved flags. If you take a look here on the this side, these are called left flags and you get three different curvatures of them. You get the very deep curvature on the far right there and then you get pretty much the same curve but they're different widths on the flag. You get the same thing on the left. Don't, don't look at that one just yet. Uh, same curvatures except on this these two center are identical and I think that's probable because that's the most common dimple pick. You're liable to bend it and break it and it gives you an extra. And then of course the narrow one. The one that I've been covering up is also a flag, but he is a two-way flag. He goes both ways, and I'm sure you've heard about those. You can pick either side of the lock, and he really, he just doesn't care. All right, it's an all-together, it's a nice little kit. When you take a look at the picks, it, they are made from, like I said, stainless steel, but the shaft measures 50 thousandths. When you put it into the handle, what I notice right away, now we're talking about improvements. I notice right away that the pick goes up and down and you can feel it clicking. It gives you a lot of feedback in the handle. Now you don't pick up and down, you kind of roll it. It may not make any difference, but it bothered me. So I started looking at this new handle. And let me get this off of here real quick and show you how you can pretty easily fix it. You'll notice the pick doesn't go all the way down into the collet. It pinches it. So if you were to sand the bottom of your pick there just a little bit, and allow it to slide all the way to the bottom of that groove, that rocking would probably go away. and You wouldn't have to deal with that. Alright, since we're talking about improvements, let's take a look at something here. When I showed you this dual-sided pick, you probably noticed that out of this whole kit, he's the only one with a round shaft. Well, in China that's a very common pick, used very frequently, so they're going to spend some extra effort. They don't do that on these. These are 50 thousandths square. Now when you put this into the keyway and you roll that back and forth to pick, it's going clunk, 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 clunk. So it's not a wheel, it's like a block. And it's giving you all that artificial feedback. You really don't, wanna, you really don't want that. Now of all the kits, this one probably requires um, 
almost an extraordinary level of effort to make it useful. But I'm going to show you how to do that. And what we want to do is round off all those square edges. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm looking at the end of the pick. Uh, this pick in particular, I hope that will focus. And this is just a, a right flag. And this is the face of it. And what we want to do is round off that corner, that corner, that corner, that one, and that one. So basically all the square edges, we want to remove all of that material so that it'll roll very nicely like a wheel inside of the keyway. Now we're going to do that. This might seem like it's going to take a lot of time, but it, it really doesn't. What I'm going to do is take this and chuck it up in my vise, and I'll show you in a minute. You're going to need two pieces of sandpaper per pick. You're going to need one. Just cut yourself a strip about like that. This is 600 grit. And then another one, same length, this is 1000 grit. And I'm going to use that for polishing. So rounding and then polishing. Be very careful if you decide to use any other grit like 400, anything rougher because it will remove the, the material fairly quickly. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, nothing to it. Just clamp up your bit inside of your vise. Take your 600 sandpaper, put it on it like that, and just start very gently going back and forth. And what you'll see very quickly is that the edges will round themselves off. And just keep going, keep going until it's perfectly rounded. You see it's already starting to happen. It doesn't take very long. So be careful. Try not to take off the material too fast. Okay, I worked on that for roughly a minute. It doesn't take very long. Now take your 1000 and just do the same thing. And all we're really doing at this point is polishing. And that's really all it takes. Once you do that, roll it over and do the opposite side and your shaft will now be round. All right, we've got that entire shaft rounded and polished at least as well as you can do with 1000 grit. So that is done. There's only one thing you can do to make this even a better pick. If you look at the tip of that pick, you'll notice that there's just a little bit of squared off that you couldn't reach with the sandpaper. And let me show you on the card what I'm talking about. That little piece right there, you couldn't quite wrap the sandpaper and get it rounded, but if you take a small needle file, like this one, and just file off that tip right there, just the part that's colored green, it'll give you a little bit more flexible tool and you'll be able to pick those pins up to a little bit higher depth setting than if you don't remove that. If you don't think you're going to be using it, you don't have to do this, but it's going to take about an extra one minute per pick. That's all it takes. About 10 or 15 licks. And with your, let me get behind the camera so I can see what is going on. And this is kind of what you're looking for with that sharp edge removed. And now you've got the full depth of that flag to reach up inside of the, uh, into the lock with. Very easy. And the whole pick only took me about three minutes. Alright, while you're busy polishing on your pick, don't forget to grind a little bit off of the base so that it will slide all the way to the bottom of the collet. So when you tighten it down, you get absolutely no movement, no jiggling, no artificial feedback whatsoever. So there you go, the Southord or Goso dimple pick. 50 bucks, but you do have to put what I would consider a pretty considerable effort, an extraordinary effort in fact, into improving this to, make, to put it into into usable condition. Anyway, appreciate your time and your patience. Stay safe, stay legal. Don't forget to comment because you got 24 hours to win this pick set. You're going to have to polish all the rest of them. I'm only doing this one. Thanks, guys.